today at the Laser and Skin Clinic Mindgar. Um, today we are doing the Obagi Blue Radiance Peel for Stuart. This is his second time having the peel and it's great for congestion, it's great for evening out skin tone and it's going to give an instant luminous glow as well. Blue Radiance Peel today we start off with cleansing the skin. This is just to ensure that we remove any excess oil, any debris and prepare it for um, the rest of the treatment. Stuart will have prepped his skin for a minimum of two weeks but we know that Stuart has been using his Abaji products for quite some time now and this means his skin is adjusted to all the ingredients and I'm doing a second cleanse just to make sure that everything is perfect. So once we've cleansed the skin, we wipe over the skin with a little sanitising solution and this also helps to lower the pH of the skin. Um, I pop a little protective barrier around his eyes and his nose um, just to minimise any irritation. So the Obagi Blue Radiance Peel has got salicylic acid and lactic acid in it. So salicylic is great for loosening up congestion within pores and lactic is um, a really beautiful acid for brightening the skin as well. Um, we often say that there can be a little bit of tingling on the skin and um, so I just gently tap it to make sure that everything is comfortable for Stuart. And I make sure there's a fan nearby just for comfort and it just makes everything a little bit more um, cooler and relaxed for him. We can actually apply a few layers of this peel and it really depends person to person as to how the skin responds and what the skin needs on the day. We do have a slight waiting period with the peel to allow all the acids to absorb and for them to get to work. So once the peel has reached its peak and it's gotten to where I needed to go within the skin, I'm going to start to neutralise it. At this stage, it, um, it looks like I'm cleansing his skin again. Um, the neutralising can cause the, the peel to spike a little bit. So again, just a little bit of warmth, a little bit of tingling, but nothing uncomfortable at all. We just want to make sure that all the peel is safely removed so that we're happy when Stuart leaves the clinic. Again, just like it's the start, I do a, a double sort of cleanse with neutralising it and make sure every last bit of the peel is removed, making sure that Stuart is comfortable and also assessing how he feels with his skin towards the end. So we can finish off this peel in two different ways. So one is applying an antioxidant such as a vitamin C, or we can in fact apply some vitamin A or retinol as well. And we've done that with Stuart today. And what the vitamin A is going to do is it's just gonna help work deeper with pigment control, with oil control, and giving that extra level of stimulation to the skin. And of course, as everybody knows who comes to the clinic, we're very particular about our sun protection. So we've applied our um, UVA and UVB protection to Stuart's skin afterwards to make sure that his skin is safe, it's protected, and it doesn't undo any of the good that we've done during the treatment. So people always want to know how often should they have a peel and what do they need to watch out for afterwards. Firstly, um, frequency of the treatments, we would recommend that you would have a peel done every four to six weeks and doing a minimum of four to six treatments as well. Um, always come into the clinic for a consultation, we'll assess your skin, we'll recommend what products you need to use to prep to get the most out of your treatment and for safety. Um, and then we can draw up a plan for you from there. The prepping is very important for the treatment, but also the aftercare. Afterwards, we want to make sure that you avoid any heat, such as saunas, steam room, swimming, heavy exercise for about 24 to 48 hours. And then also making sure that you're just using recommended gentle products. So for Stuart today, he's gonna to use his Abaji Gentle Cleanser, his Abaji Hydrate, and also his sun protection for the next five to seven days. During this period, he might experience some flaking or shedding. Um, just it can be um, normal sometimes with it, a peel. And we wanna make sure that his skin is safe, his skin is protected, and that he's not gonna cause any harm to his skin as well. This is my second time having the Abaji Blue Radiant Skin Peel. I love the results uh, from it. My skin always feels great. It, looks, it feels like it's glowing. One of the main things that I love about this treatment is that there's very little downtime. There's a slight redness on my face now, but that will go down within uh, a couple of hours, which is great. 
While we did the Obagi Blue Radiance Peel for Stuart today and we decided that was the best one for his skin concerns, we actually have over 10 peels available here in the clinic, ranging from glycolic acid to salicylic acid to the, the top level MTCA peels with the nurses. Um, we really do have peels to treat every skin concern.